One of the greatest challenges will be finding new energy sources over the next quarter century or so. And as our energy consumption grows, the race to develop alternatives is more important than ever. Morgan Brennan tells us what new technologies could power the future. When it comes to developing oil alternatives for the future, MIT is on the cutting edge. To actually build yourself one of these devices might start here. Researchers here, like Vladimir Bulovich, are using science to tackle some of the energy industry's biggest issues. Bulovich helped develop this, transparent solar cells. Unlike traditional solar panels, Bulovich's design only absorbs infrared or invisible light. Because you can see through them, you can put transparent solar panels on just about anything. Let's say roads, around the roads, or on top of the buildings, or indeed cars. Why isn't the surface of a car coated with a transparent solar cell? Bulovich says that in 25 years, these types of solar cells could even be built into the windows of skyscrapers, dramatically bringing down energy consumption. And by building transparent cells into the smartphones of the future, charging your device could become a thing of the past. It's, it's kind of annoying to have to recharge it every few days. So can you avoid that? Yeah, you can, by harvesting just a little bit of the infrared sunlight. Storing all of that energy is also a problem, one that another MIT professor is working to solve. Donald Sadaway is pioneering a new type of liquid metal battery. This is a uh, one watt hour. It's uh, the workhorse cell. Made of earth abundant elements, it's cheaper to build and lasts longer than lithium ion batteries. I like to say if you want to make something dirt cheap, make it out of dirt. We've got some data showing a uh, battery could be fully discharged on a daily basis for 10 years and still have over 99% of its initial capacity. Sadaway is scaling his batteries up to store electricity from wind and solar that can be fed back into the grid during peak energy demand. He says in 25 years, his batteries can be put into the basements of buildings, taking demand off the grid and saving billions of dollars through carbon-free energy. There's all sorts of opportunities for changing the nature of the grid so that we don't have to then build more of these monstrous power plants that are frightfully expensive. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.